smallmouth are very cooperative, but sometimes you need to modify your presentation and show them something different. Another tactic of mine when I'm fishing for river smallmouth, and actually not just rivers, it works in natural lake, is the case jacks worm. This is the four inch worm. A lot of people work it wide gap hook. This is a three odd hook. Now usually when I fish stick baits, I use the largest hook I can get away with, but with this jacks worm, I don't want my hook too far back because it's going to impair the action. The novelty of the jacks worm is this tail's always wiggling. You work it in some grass, twitch it a little bit, let it sink, and just I just kind of raise my rod, give it a little pop, 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 and just that action continuously works. Another deadly tactic with the jacks worm and probably my favorite on rivers and natural lakes too is to use it with a mushroom jig head. The last couple of years with the Ned rigs and a few other type of rigs the mushroom jig heads are very very popular but try it with a jacks worm the four inch jack worm and look at it, I'm barely doing anything with it and it's you know quivering in his back tail. When I'm using the four inch jacks worm on a mushroom head, the key is to work it as slow as possible. This is not set up for a fast moving bait. I'll cast it out when I'm fishing along a weed line or I'm fishing in rocks, count to three or four, let it get down and just a slow steady retrieve. And you're thinking that's slow retrieve but this little back, this tail is just quivering and sometimes I'll raise my rod up a little bit give it a little quiver, let it fall, and I just keep my slow, steady retrieve. Play around with the retrieve as far as letting it drop, but don't try to work it too fast because you're going to defeat the whole purpose. You can play around with different size mushroom heads, and I've worked this bait down as deep as 15, 20 feet on some clear natural lakes. Now, in the river here, most of the time, I use a lighter head because I'm only fishing in uh, maybe 5 foot, maybe down to about 10 foot. I like to use this white color, especially as we progress into fall, because it's definitely, uh, you know, minnow imitation color. As far as the type of tackle I like to use, I'm using a six foot six medium light action rod. I like a fast tip on it because I'm using a slow presentation. Any type of bait your retrieve and any type of presentation for that matter that you're using a slow presentation you should always use a, a rod with a fast tip six pound or eight pound copolymer line favorite of mine is the iguana line the copolymer line I usually use uh, the eight pound with the iguana the advantage to that is their diameter is a little bit smaller so here I've got eight pound test equivalent to maybe like four pound test of, an, of another manufacturer. So I've got that light line, enabling me to finesse that bait, let it drop a little further. And I know so it's very abrasive resistance. So you're looking for another tactic for both river smallmouth and lake smallmouth. Try the four inch jacks worm. It's another one of those tactics when the fishing gets a little tough, this'll do it. <laughs>